one of the interesting things is that spokes are a very, very simple um, tensioned beam, essentially. So the more tension on it, the higher the frequency that they will produce when plucked. So you can use a guitar tuner app, <clears throat> or you can use something like this. This is called Check Spoke. Um, I found it's kind of sensitive, but <clears throat> uh, what you can do is you can use it to check your spoke tension. So if you know your spoke length and your di spoke diameter, it'll figure out based off the frequency. So what we'll do is we pluck it, and we get a frequency back. Now you'll notice it's changing, so I'm going to be quiet. So that read 506. So let's move over to a similar spoke on the same drive side. Um, and we'll see what we get there. I'm also getting a 506. Again, 506. I'm going to try one of these opposite spokes. They should be the same, but they may not um, due, to ten due to load on the wheel and such. So I'm getting closer to 419 hertz. So again, let's check one of these again. 436. So one of the opposite drive side ones. Constantly getting 500 there, so it's close. Four hundred nineteen. Five hundred. One of the things to remember is natural frequencies are there's several harmonics, so you can usually um, detect frequencies. the The lowest frequency will have the highest amplitude, which will be the normal normally the one that shows up in these this app. However, sometimes the second or the third harmonic. So if you get are looking for 500 and you're getting a thousand, yeah, just repluck it until it picks up the the biggest harmonic. But don't be alarmed. Don't don't start detensioning your spokes. But yeah, so the idea would be to go around and get all your spokes. So that <clears throat> that one plucked a little lower and the frequency was 344 versus the 360. One of the things, the spoke with your magnet on it will produce a different frequency, a much lower frequency because it has a lot more mass. If you want to get the spoke tension, you have to remove your, your magnet. All right, that's all. It's a pretty cheap and easy hack since it's free. Um, a little bit of patience and you'll get your